Hi, welcome back to Shitoku Tech. When I started working with the TTGO T5E paper display, I noticed there was a lot of nasty flicker and stuff, and I'm going to show you how to overcome that in this video. I was pretty proud with this video here, the TTGO T5 ePaper custom images and example sketches video. I showed you how to make your own custom images for the T5 ePaper display. And then I got this comment on this video getting started with the TTGO T5 ePaper display from Parahooners. He's talking about using display update window instead of display update. And this was something that I always wanted to come back on. This is that partial update code that I wanted to explore further. I mentioned that in this video. You might want to check out Parahooner's YouTube site. Parasailing's pretty cool. I like the one here. He lost his car keys. <laughs> yeah, that would really suck. Anyway, I started searching because I wanted to get more information about this display update window. My biggest question here is when you look at what Parahooner's saying, basically you're showing the XY origin of the window that you're going to update and then the dimension of the window that you're going to update. And then you're going to follow it with either true or false. So leave a comment down below if you know what true or false means in this context of display update window. I did a little quick search here and this particular discussion sort of devolved into can you tell me what your problem is sort of thing more than being able to tell me what true or false means in the context of this command. Anyway, let's look at the original code that I was using in the custom images video. And you can see here, again, I showed you how to create these include files for the 250 by 122 images. So I thought I was doing pretty cool. But yeah, you know, let's take a look here. When you look and see this, it, it you get this flickering. There's a negative effect. Then it flips over and it finally shows you the correct image. You can see that right here. Let's take a look. And all of that here, I wanted to overcome that. So here is that display update command that he's talking about replace with display update window. And I, I agree with that. That's something we need to do. And so let's talk about how we can get you that flicker free update of the entire screen. So we see how this is working right now. And we're going to use this code instead. So here I've changed the display update with display update window and we know the dimensions are from 0, 0 to 250 by 122. And again, please leave a comment down below if you know what true or false means in this context. Now I had this bright idea to fill the screen with white because I thought that maybe that fill screen was causing that black flash and then you get the negative image and then you get the positive image like we see here. But so I figured I'd try display fill screen white. And when you run this, you're going to see we get this and it just keeps writing over everything from the past keeps coming up and you don't get a clear image. It's really kind of an interesting effect here. So we, we don't like this. So we're going to go ahead and trade this out for GEXPD black fill screen. I'm just going to copy. I'm going to paste that in all of these. Now we're keeping the same display update window. And this is what's going to give you this smooth transition between one image and the next. Again, you're going to want to watch this video to learn how to create custom images for your TTGO T5 ePaper. Regardless of the size of the display, uh, this is a valid video for learning how to create uh, images for an ePaper display. So you're going to want to check that out. And let's run this and see how it goes. All right. So here you go. 
and we've gotten rid of that black flash and then the negative image and then the final positive image. It's a smooth refresh of the entire screen and I think it's very enjoyable. So again, I want to thank Parahooner for the comments on my video here, the getting started with TTGO T5 ePaper Display Development Board. And you're going to want to watch TTGO T5 ePaper custom images to figure out how to make custom images like you're seeing right here. All right. Thank you very much. So make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe. Check out some of these other videos. And thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.